Hey, what is going on YouTube? Needed here back again with another video for you guys. And today I have another episode of running around this time on Halo 3's Ghost Town. We're going to be going through each section of the map, showing off any tips and tricks that we can, and also talking about beginning strategies when it comes to Team Slayer as well. So let's go ahead and hop into it. And it is a bit of a larger map compared to some of the other maps in Halo 3. So definitely a bit more to go over here, as well as some mongoose vehicles that you actually will utilize uh, sometimes at the beginning of games so this is going to be the first or one of the beginning beginning spawns for a team is in this garage area and usually what people like to do is they take the mongoose and this player usually either pushes over shield or camo to try to get a jump on one of the power-ups and one of the main strategies that people do uh, is or one of the most use strategies i would say is they take the mongoose just fly right through this tunnel and then try to get that over shield right there um while you know dodging nades and you know because the other team is going to be probably pushing in this area throwing nades brute shots maybe even already having the rockets so i wouldn't really recommend doing this strategy i mean it can work but it is a very very just 50 50 type of strategy that either you're going to die maybe you'll get lucky and get the overshield but the thing is is the overshield is not even that powerful on this map in my opinion what you're going to be wanting to control is the sniper which is over there in the camouflage which is right there in that little tube um right around that corner you can see it peeking out right there and if you control the sniper and the camo more than likely your team is going to be controlling the flow of the game but if you do um send a player to overshield on the mongoose this is probably going to be the better route going up top right here and just flying right over to the overshield a little bit more unexpected and more difficult to kill than going down low on the tunnel but i wouldn't really even recommend going to overshield to start the game i mean you have a lot of other options you have the shotgun right here you can grab the bubble shield as well and you don't really have to go all the way over to the overshield side if you don't want to uh just because the other team is going to be pushing in that area more than likely grabbing the rockets and even if they, the other team does get the overshield then that's more so good for you because you can now focus more on the sniper while the other team is more you know just putting themselves way over here out of position on the map in terms of getting up top in the party room the party room is going to be right up there that um the main kind of corridor where people kind of all meet up right here and have a big party and a lot of combat going on here that's why it's called the party room because you have so many different areas that an enemy could be coming from so a lot of action going to be going on here so controlling this area obviously is going to be very important as well so you know people going over here to get the rockets or even going all the way over here on the other team to get the overshield is really could benefit you in terms of um, positioning because now you can get up top while the other team is grabbing an overshield which may or may not even help them so um but for me like i said i usually like to go for the camo and the sniper so usually what i'll do is i'll bring the mongoose over here maybe i'll get out grab the grab lift and then grab the camo and also what i like to do is try to need the sniper you can need the sniper down but in general i just like to try to put a need right in that general area because what people do is um the other team is going to be spawning over here so um out the beginning of the game they'll be running through this tunnel or just moving in this general direction sometimes they'll contest camo or um take you know a lot of routes to pressure this area but you just kind of you just kind of play it play it by ear and see what the other team is doing and grab the camo and what i like to do is line up my reticle with this wire that's hanging down and just kind of run forward throw it off that back wall and the nade actually lands right there on the sniper so you saw the sniper actually flew right over here and it's a really good nade to um blast the sniper away from the other team and just do any damage to people going in this area i've actually gotten a perfect nade on some people um to start the game and then what i do is after grabbing the camo just hop right here on these boulders or the cement blocks and you can just hop right up here even grab the sniper clean up these kills and start off the game really strong with camo sniper and now you're in control of the game so really really nice way to start the game there uh, but going back over here to this beginning area i'm uh, going to show off maybe a couple ledges uh that ledges that you can stand on over here this one right here actually uh i would say is pretty useful you can actually just hop right up onto here uh because this is an area where people like to chase a lot and push into so if you actually know how to just hop up onto that ledge which you do by standing on the staircase a little bit and just kind of hopping around the corner like i did uh just before and you can get up here and really throw off your opponent 
by jumping around and then you can also actually jump off of this light right here that's kind of sticking out and also go on this side so you have two little ledges right here to kind of um just completely outplay your opponent a lot of people won't be expecting it obviously you can nade off the ceiling there as well and then you have a lot of these back corners which are not really going to be used often in slayer maybe in other game types but you, know, you have this crazy ledge over here and then you have this weird weird little cubby area which actually has a gap up top you can throw nades so if you see somebody hiding you know in this fencing area you can't just throw a nade right over the top but uh, you know, people also try to hide down here as well. Um, but yeah, that's generally uh, everything in this area. Moving on um, up here to the bubble shield bridge. Really important to control the bubble shield as well. Um, and also, this jump I found pretty useful. There's actually a nice little jump right here in this bush where you can just kind of walk right up and then um slide up this hill so you don't have to jump on the cement block if you don't want to i mean obviously you can just go like that and hop right up but a little bit um faster of a play to uh there is a way to do it let's see if we can figure it out and mm, let's see oh there it is we did it yeah so you can just hop right up there it is pretty fast you have to like find that little spot like somewhere in the bush it's actually a pretty nice hiding bush right here too i mean you can probably sit here and conceal yourself pretty well but there's actually a couple other bushes around the map that you can hide in as well um but really nice spot here to um jump onto as well you can actually uh go over here on this rocket bridge and just jump straight over here onto this tunnel area so really nice place to snipe or just kind of sit around in and you can obviously also hop up onto this tree which is really cool Anytime, anytime you can get into, you know, trees or just higher up areas, it's always going to throw your opponent off. Um, but also, quick, uh, a lot of quick notes here. You have a really nice angle. I've actually shown off in a video before where you can jump right here and jump up top and actually snipe people through this hole. And all of these little barbed uh, wires or um, those metal, I guess, poles actually don't have any collision so you can shoot bullets straight through them throw nades through them and it goes for every single one on the map so even these ones right here you know you could jump up and you know stand right here these these will not block any shots they won't block nades or anything like that and you're good to not even really worry about them they pretty much pretend they're not even there so uh just a quick note of that because there are a lot of those metal kind of poles around the map that you can pretty much shoot through and it, it seems like you you know your bullets are going to hit them but really don't um and they just go right through so another quick thing to note uh, as well let me go grab the gravity lift real quick is over here by this bubble shield bridge uh this area is actually really important and a very very powerful position on the map is this giant wall right here so you can actually just grab lift right up uh to this area and utilize this wall and um uh, as like pretty much a power position on the map because you can spawn kill people over here you can spawn kill people right here and it, if you get a person up here it is just insanely overpowered because they can fall on either side and you pretty much just can't kill them and you know you have to pressure them and focus on them or they're just going to be causing so much damage on the map so really really cool spot there and what's even cooler is you actually don't even need a grab lift to get up there. You actually can ghost jump off of this spot right here and jump up top. And um, I believe you can even maybe even jump on this ledge and jump up without ghost jumping. But if you did want to ghost jump, you would have to just do it from here. Very, very, very tough to do. But uh, I actually hit it right there. You just got to get your character up top on the wall after ghost jumping. Pretty tough jump to do. Um, I've done it a few times in in games but oh there it is you know so you can get it down not too tough of a ghost jump you know you just got to learn where to jump from where to aim and you can get it down pretty nicely uh also really important jump right here as well not a lot of people can realize you can jump on this ledge just hop right up top to party room from this bottom middle area so you can be right here go one two three and you're up so really nice jump there you have a ledge here you can utilize and obviously you do have that hole in the wall right here that you could even you know throw nades through jump up you have an angles right here that you can shoot through so 
just really unexpected plays, really cool things that you can do. You can obviously jump on this to jump up here as well. And you have some nice hiding spots down here, which is pretty cool. Um, but one thing to note, I did show off a little earlier, but obviously standing right here is really nice. Uh, I believe you can even stand right here, which is pretty insane on this wooden pallet. Yeah, you can. That is pretty crazy. You can even uh, stand on this little ledge right here. Uh, those, those types of little ledges are always very fascinating to me on, on Halo maps to be able to use and in combat. Like, even right here, jumping on this light, you have a ledge right here. You can walk all the way around, use it as more of a height advantage. Really nice way. I think, I mean, obviously you can get up on this one as well. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of different hiding spots back here. You can even hop up. You know, the ledge goes all the way around to this corner. But you have a lot of hiding spots back here as well. Not so many people are going to be back here, you know, besides, you know, if you're just first spawning. But obviously you can jump up here, which is a nice little route. Uh, and then if you wanted to get pretty crazy, I mean, I guess you could actually technically throw nades through this top area and somehow get it to bang down right there. So that would be a pretty crazy play. Just good to know that there is an angle that you can throw a nade if you are happen to be, you know, trapped in this area. You can just look up and throw a nade. Uh, pretty cool and uh, speaking of pretty crazy angles that people don't really think of is this one right here so a lot of times you're in position uh you know on this power drain position and you know you're fighting maybe somebody here and somebody over here and they they hide around this area behind this wall and you think you can't really do anything but what people don't realize is you can actually throw nades right through this top window right here so if people are hiding on the other side, you can throw nades up at that tree, bank it down, bank it down, and you can even throw a power drain on the other side of the wall just like that. So, and then push through in this direction while everybody's weak. Pretty insane play. Uh, and then you can obviously even do it the opposite way, throwing nades out in this direction. But a lot of people don't even realize you can uh, throw nades and the power drain right into that gap in the window. Just such a cool angle to be able to uh, get some damage down and create plays off of. But another really important jump to know on this map as well is the jump from this snipe spawn all the way to this bridge. A lot of people don't realize you can actually just hop right over. Uh, <laughs> not like that, but you can hop right over to the bridge and actually do a nice little jump just like that. And you can clip the little uh, ledge that's sticking out right here. But I do think you can actually just make it um, without even hitting that ledge. Uh, there is a way to do it um, without jumping a second time, but it is a little bit tougher. Usually what I like to do is uh, I like to just like line up with that ledge and just hop right in like that. Um, let's see if I can maybe hit the jump without uh, having to jump a second time. I don't know. There, it is a little bit tougher, but usually I like to do two jumps on that just to make sure I don't fall down. And again, you know, this is what I was talking about earlier with these metal uh, bars. This is not going to block any nades. This is not going to block any of your bullets. So when you're in this position, you can just shoot right through this and not really worry about any of your bullets getting hit by those metal objects or anything like that. Same thing here. You know, you can throw nades down very easily through these gaps and a lot of just very broken walls over here uh, you can utilize to, you know, really catch your opponent off guard. And obviously you do have a little bit of a crouch escape route right here, which is a really cool feature of the map to be able to crouch right through, but um, right through back and forth like that. So really, really cool uh, to sneak out since a lot of people might not realize that you can do that, but also a really nice spot here you can hide in. Uh, I've seen a lot of people do it against me. They'll, they'll jump in this corner over here and hide uh, all the way up around right here. Very unexpected spot. And you can actually also jump all the way up into this bush. Uh, I believe if you somehow jump, or maybe maybe you need the mongoose to do it. I, I know you can actually somehow jump up into that bush. Uh, maybe you can do it without jumping on the mongoose, but uh, just to make sure here, let's see. Yep, there it is right there. So if you get up on this branch, you could actually hide all the way in this giant bush. You are completely sealed uh, there, so you gotta, you could actually really catch people off guard uh, using that. But uh, we got about 45 seconds left, and you know we've shown a lot of really cool stuff on this map. There's even more things actually over here we can even show. Um, obviously, you have this this ledge right here. Uh, you could even utilize to walk on another crazy ledge to use, and I think you can even 
uh, use it to like pop out remaining. and then jump up top to that building a very unexpected angle there which is always really cool uh just like that actually which is really really awesome but um yeah man and that uh should be it and also really funny thing about this map i always thought was interesting there's no hole up here on the roof as you can see if you drop rain. down somehow there's a roof with sunlight going through it <laughs> there's a hole i i don't know a little bit of a design flaw there on bungie's uh part i guess maybe they overlooked that Game but over. that is gonna do it for ghost town man we showed a lot of cool stuff there's even more stuff on this map honestly it's one of the maps where there's a lot of just insane ghost jumps and insane little hiding spots and ledges you can get on. But hope you guys enjoyed another episode of Running Around here on Ghost Town. If you did, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to this channel for daily Halo content. And guys, I will see you in the next one.